Some people don't think about changing numbers in the way we did because they incorrectly believe that you shouldn't do it at all. They don't know you can work with 20 instead of 17 to make it easier to calculate. The truth is the opposite and reshaping numbers like this turns out to be a very important concept in math. Another false belief that is a close relative of the previous issue is that in math, there is only one way to solve a problem, one algorithm, which basically inhibits creativity. Mathematicians see math in different ways and each person applies their own creativity to the problems they work on. If you ask them what they think about math, they will tell you about a beautiful, creative subject, but most often than not, the beauty is lost in the way it is taught in school. I'm sure most of you have been in a situation at school when the teacher shows you one way of solving a problem and expects you to do it the same exact way. But in these situations, stop and think to yourself about other methods of solving it. There are always other ways available. It's great if you can discuss the other methods you come up with together with your teachers, or friends, or parents, since it will help you learn on a deeper level. Let's see if you can use number flexibility to your advantage this time with another problem. Don't use the algorithm you learned in school for this one if you did before. I'm talking about the one you use when multiplying on paper where you carry numbers. Try changing them into a friendlier format instead, as we saw in the previous video. The multiplication this time is 14 times 25.